All right, guys, it's Mr. Drew. Let's do it. We got to make these chains. Let's see how fast we can get it going. Come on, let's get to create document. All right, your chain. Uh oh, my OCD's kicking in. Your chain. All right, doesn't matter. Let's get in here. Let's get it done. On shape, you guys know the routine. 3D starts with 2D. So the first thing you need to do is create a sketch. So let's go to sketch right here. All right, it's saying select a sketch plane. We are making a key chain, nice and slow, but at the same time, nice and fast. We're looking down on this thing from above. Let's go to the top plane. All right, we are now in sketch one on the top plane neck back there. So let's go to the top view using our view cube. And now we're looking down on that bad boy. Sketch one, top plane. Let's get to it. This is going to be a keychain. So use text. All right, to use our text tool, we need to make a text box. Let's center this thing as best we can. Just drag out a box, release, and now we can set our text over here on the left. Pick any font you would like and put in your name. There you go. You do not like Chinese traditional font? Change it to Open Sans. Change it to Aramo. And as you see, as you change it, you get a preview of what it looks like. Make it bold, put it in italics, whatever you need to do. All right. Green check. And there's your name. I can roll with the mouse wheel to get a better view of this thing. Just rolling the wheel in and out there. All right. How big is this thing? Let's shrink it down. Let's make this thing legit. We're going to make it. We're going to print this. All right, we got to got to be able to fit in our pocket. You can't drive down the road, even though you guys are in middle school. You're not driving, but you're gonna put it on your keychain, and then you gotta be able to carry this thing. So dimension, right here. Click it. All right, with dimension selected, we will now select this line here, or this line here, either one, one of the horizontal lines, to place a dimension on it. This is going to allow us to set the width of our text box. With one click, we select the line. With the second click, we place the dimension. We wait, and then it's going to ask us how long we want this to be. I say four inches, anywhere between three and four inches. You get to five inches, and that's just a ridiculously long keychain. All right? About 3.5. There you go. So now we have a 3.5 inch your name keychain green check. All right, we're at three minutes, 30 seconds. Let's hurry up guys. Got to get this done. So let's extrude it, make it 3d sketch one. There's your sketch. Here's your button, man. Here's your 3d tools. Let's do it. Extrude it. Click it with sketch one selected and the extrude button pressed. It will extrude your text. You can rotate it with right click, hold that thing down, and you'll see your text has been extruded to an inch, to a depth of one inch. Let's bring this down to 0.25. All right, a quarter of an inch. Beautiful. However, your text is floating out in midair. All your letters would fall apart. So let's add a base. Let's sketch some more. Sketch. Saying select a sketch plane. We can select the top over here on the left, or we can just zoom out until we can find it here. Back on the top, looking down, I'm going to sketch a base. How about a rectangle? There we go. And since we want to make this a chain, it's going to need a hole, so we will use our circle tool. Here's our circle. And we're going to put a little hole. Eh, whatever. 
All right, there. We'll work on uh, modifying the design later, but let's just get it in there. All right, green check. Because you guys are eager, man. I'm trying to teach you everything about this, you know, it's nice and slow, sketching, smart dimensioning, angles, circles, and you guys want to make things. So, here you go. Those are the basics. You want to make something? Make this right here. Same thing. Highlight sketch too. Extrude. This time we'll make it an eighth of an inch. This is 0.125. All right, things gonna come down. You'll see it. It's just waiting on the browser. Kind of slow here at the Drew Stead, but it's all good. Here's your chain. Green check that bad boy. All right. Now you're saying, okay, I made this thing, Mr. Drew. Mr. Drew, I want to print it. I want to print it. How do I get it to you? Come on down. Down here. And right click. These are all the parts. These are all the pieces to the puzzle you've made. And you want to export. Alright. In fact, you want to export all of this. So select all of those. I just did a shift select there. Right click. Export. Export unique parts as individual files? No, because we want them to be combined. But uh, STL is what you want. This is the file format we need. Your name. Keychain. Sure. Uh, leave it inches. Resolution. Fine. I'm going to get this thing nice. Even that's a pretty simple design. And uh, options to download. You hit OK. And it's going to download the keychain right here. So there's your file. And you are going to submit that file for printing. And we're going to rock and roll. So get it done nice and simple. Don't forget to get your class assignment done first. But that's for those of you wanting to get a head start, wanting to dig in there. and Or even those just trying to tinker, man. Just get a basic extrusion. It's very, very simple. It all starts with a sketch. Hit sketch, pick a plane, draw a shape, select your sketch, and extrude it. And you just repeat that process over and over, over and over. Adding material, removing material, until your model's complete. All right? Happy modeling. Peace out.